Welcome. Let's look at some risky behaviors that our teenagers, even our young adults, tend to exhibit or tend to go into. These risky behaviors can be tempted by different things or by different reasons. One, because of peer pressure, they want to do what their mates are doing. They want to do what their peers are doing. Second, quest for independence. They want to be independent. They want to do things their own way. And thirdly, not being on the know. Sometimes they get involved in these risky behaviors without knowing that such um, activities are risky for them. Let's take a number of it. Let's discuss some of these risky behaviors. Maybe you can discuss that with your teenagers or even your young adults. Number one I want to talk about is substance use. There is an increasing rate in young individuals using substances. They can be drugs, they can be alcohol, they can be tobacco, or any of these substances. And these substances, they can become so addicted to it that they can't function without using it. Not knowing that, or even knowing that, it can be detrimental to their health. So as your young individuals, your teenagers, your young adults are growing, have a discussion on not being pressured to use any of these substances because in the short run, in the long run, it is detrimental to their health. Another one is reckless driving. You see some young adults, you see some teenagers, maybe in their late teens, 18, 17, young adults, 20, 21, 22. If you see where they are driving, they don't care. Sometimes they are with their phone and they are driving. Sometimes they are with alcohol and they are driving. Sometimes they drive without their seat belts on. And sometimes they drive with very loud music at the background. They don't mind what will happen. It's a risky behavior. So before you allow your late teenagers or young adults to start driving, you have to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with them on some things that can be risky while driving. Remember, I am talking about some risky behaviors that our teenagers and our young adults get involved in. Are you new to the page? Okay, I am a messy ability. Um, we discuss educational stuffs. On my second channel class online school, we run the Nigerian curriculum. And here, we talk about sex education, things that will help our teenagers and our young adults, things that will help our family build our total you. That's what we do here. All right, let's go back to other things that can be termed risky behavior by our young uh, adults or our teenagers. Unprotected or premature sexual activity. Unprotected or premature sexual activity. They want to experiment. They want to get into the act. And at the end of the day, it can land them in becoming teen fathers, the young girls becoming teen mothers. Now, sometimes it leads to STI, STDs. Some of them are pressured by their friends. Some of them are just trying to experiment with what other folks are doing. So have a heart to heart talk. That's why on this page, we we'll have sex education. We we'll give you different topics you can discuss with from your toddlers, your preteen, and your teenagers, even your young adults. 
have a heart to heart talk with them. I've posted a video on heart to heart talk with your teenagers. Discuss what can happen with premarital sex or premarital sexual activity or even unprotected sex. Tell them the consequences of what can happen. Another thing is social media oversharing. You see them oversharing. Their privacy is at risk. They make friends with people they don't even know. They expose themselves to so many things. They, sh they share explicit videos, explicit photos, family information that children have been hidden. At the end of the day, they are exposed to cyberbullying, blackmailing, and the rest of it. So you need to talk about oversharing in social media with your children. I have posted a lot of video on how you can protect your young ones from oversharing or how you can protect them from social media. Not that they shouldn't use it, but you should be a proper guide. Another risky behavior is vaping or smoking. It's a new trend. It has been an old trend. And they are trying to introduce a whole lot of other things to the way young individuals look at smoking. So tell them the health consequences. Tell them the addictive nature it can become to them. And tell them both the short and the long run effects it will have on them. Then, risky dieting. Risky dieting. Some of them want to look at the image they have on social media. So they go on dieting to an extreme that it can be detrimental to their health. Sometimes they can go on eating so much that it can lead to them having too much weight. So you have to educate them on good nutrition, good dieting, good physical exercise, self-care, okay? You have just this one body and you have to take care of this one body. Let them be aware of what is important in life. The conventional education cannot teach them all of this. So you as a caregiver, as a guardian, as a parent, need to take up this. Then sometimes you see them getting involved in physical combat, fighting, aggression, which can lead to um, hurting themselves, okay, fighting with each other, and a whole lot of things. This can, these are some of the risky behavior that our teenagers and our young adults are involved. There are lots more. So, what are some risky behavior that is very common in your area? What are some risky behavior that people are getting into that you know about? Comment below the comment box. Let's create an awareness for those who do not know that such activities are risky. They will be able to know so please let's help these young individuals to know that most of these things that they do all of these risky behavior they get involved have both the short-term effect and the long-term effect you love them you want them to live and you want them to be the best version of themselves so please educate them have a talk with them let them know that this risky behavior will hurt them all right I'll see you in the next.